everyone and welcome. This is Melissa Armour with a stock swish and a reviewing Apple. Called a beautiful day trade in this and two options in this on Friday. Took off like rockets and actually if you held the options into Monday, it went even further, went even higher. So it's very interesting because Apple had earnings out Thursday night along with a lot of big names. Google, Amazon, Facebook, they were all out Thursday night. And I wasn't in love with this initially. I waited, I watched, we did a late morning trade in this um, all around, but it was the perfect timing. I tell you, timing is everything in the market. If you get in too soon, you could be down before you up. Uh, if you get in too late, then you have to exit early, um, or you're up and then you're down a lot till it goes. I mean, timing is so key to trading, and it's something that I'm very good at. Again, it's taken me a long time to get to this point in many, 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 many years, but I mean, I can just tell when I see something, and again, it's all based on the gap. So let's take a look at the gap in Apple. And again, we didn't do a day trade in this today. I could have. I looked at it and, it, and what's crazy to me is that the stock price has almost doubled since about two months ago. I mean, I'm barely even used to the fact that this is worth more than $400 a share. But anyways, again, this was Wednesday. Uh, no, this was Thursday, I'm sorry, 7.31. So the stock closed here at 384.75, then it added earnings, Thursday night, boom, open in the morning on Friday at 411.53. So the stock gapped. So the stock closed, again, at 384 and change, and open at 411 and change. So it's not quite, it wasn't quite $30, a little bit less than $30 move up on the gap. Really nice gap in Apple. Ran up into the close, went to the dream target, which was really 420, 425, went over 425, ran up into the close on Friday, and then boom, kept up today. I mean, when I saw this, I was just like, I almost fell over. It opened at 432, and it had close at 425. So it actually opened up seven dollars in change from where it closed and this is the power of the gap okay so people bought apple into the earnings from thursday night into friday they bought it friday and they bought it friday night into monday and they bought it today in fact today's high which was set in the morning was 446.54 and this is completely on its own i mean the market is green today but this is on its own 100 percent boom and so again nice nice bullish gap up in Apple. I don't do the bullish gap class all the time. I do it at once a year, I'm due to do it soon. But I will tell you that I rarely go long as a day trade. I prefer to short. This was one that just caught my eye and said, wow, this looks good. And that will happen every once in a while where I will just see something that's a long and will end up doing it as a day trade and a call. If you're thinking about day trading, Email me at melissathestockswish.com. The next Golden Gap class is August 8th and 9th, which is this coming weekend. And it has been a very, very interesting earning season. Some things have turned out to be better than expected, like this. And some things we haven't done at all, like Amazon, we didn't even touch because they were kind of a bust. So you have to look at each individual gap, whether it's bullish or bearish, I rate it. That's what I teach in the class, and that is a system you learn from me. If you'd like more information, email me at melissa at thestockswish.com. Stay safe, everyone, and I will talk to you soon.